Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to open the Beating School Academy box called Dangerous Liaisons. So for those of you who aren't familiar with these boxes, these are a bi-monthly bi subscription that they offer on their website, beatingschool.com. Every two months you get a new box and you get a new really amazing theme and the beads are just all chosen around this theme. So the theme for this box is French Rococo. And when I think of French Rococo, I kind of think of Marie Antoinette. I think of beautiful these beautiful French women with these elaborate dresses, the really low cut so they can display their gorgeous jewelry around their, you know, around their necks, their big stones and, <laughs> and precious jewels and such. So we're gonna we're gonna actually bezel this guy. This is in this box, along with a ton of other beads, which I will show you in a minute. So just you know, just to give you a little taste of what's going on, and here's the color story. So I'm going to clear this off, and let's get a look at all these gorgeous beads. Okay, let's start with the um, seed beads. So we have a couple of delicas here. These are 11 Omiyuki delicas, and we have um, Duracold Galvanized Mermaid Blue, gorgeous, and Galvanized Muscat. That's also very pretty. And then we have a 15-0, in galvanized muscat. So you have the 15O and the Delica in the muscat and that gorgeous blue. I love that color okay, Next up we have this really beautiful 11O Yuki Delica and this is galvanized pewter which is so vintage looking isn't it? And then this 15O uh, round seed bead which is matte light brown AB but to me it's to me I would call it amber AB because it's just a beautiful amber color. Okay, next up we have a quarter Tila, that's so hard for me to say. Silver gray Ceylon, beautiful. And then an 11 Omiyuki in crystal rainbow, blue rainbow. And then this beautiful 15 Omiyuki in silver gray Ceylon. Gorgeous. I love the grays and the blues and then that pop of that muscat sort of um, rust color. Really pretty. And let's look at some of the crystal. This is a 20 by 30 millimeter pair glass cabochon crystal in astral pink. And very nicely made. I love that astral pink color. Isn't that beautiful? And I love it with the muscat and the blue uh, delicas. That would be a nice combo to bezel this. Be gorgeous. Let's take a look at these 10 by 14 millimeter oval glass cabochons with a gold claw in juicy peach. And these are in the setting. That's what the gold claw is if you're not familiar with that. And it does have holes that you can incorporate it into, let's say, into bead embroidery. You just put this on your backing, sew through it, and then you could just bead around it with any any size beads. That's really wonderful for bead embroidery. I have been known to take these out of the setting and just do a beaded bezel because I love bezeling, you know that. And also you can incorporate them with the claw in your um, bead weaving. And if you haven't done that before, then you go to their website because they have some wonderful tutorials where they, they do this a lot. They incorporate this into such beautiful bead weaving designs. We have some more 10 by 14 millimeter oval glass cabochons with the gold, they call it a claw. Okay, so that's setting. And this is in Tanzanite. And this looks almost like, um, like, a, like an opal. Sort of, they both look sort of opaly. So very, very pretty. Look at these beautiful uh, cabochons. And these are 10 millimeter round glass cabochon in Bermuda blue laser light. Look at that color, isn't that gorgeous? And this is, I mean, when I think of a cabochon, I usually think of a flat back, but um, this is like a chiton, isn't it? And this is a 10 millimeter. And I'm so happy to see 10 millimeter chitons because I do have a lot of them that I had from a long time ago in my stash. Um, but I haven't seen them much, so it is lovely to see these. And these have that pretty sort of rose cut on them, too. They're domed. These are gorgeous. Next up, we have an 11 millimeter Pre Preciosa Chiton Rose in Crystal Venus. And the Chiton Rose is the flat back. So this is, again, something really beautiful that you can co incorporate into, you know, any jewelry piece. Just gorgeous. Okay, next up, we have 18 by 13 millimeter Pear Glass Cabochon Light Paparaccia. I, mean, I always have trouble with that, but it was close enough. <laughs> okay, so here you go. This is really a, again, it's another uh, crystal. It's not flat, and it's a pretty kind of um, elongated teardrop, isn't it? Like a raindrop. Okay, next up, we have 18 by 13 millimeter the cl a claw for the Pear Cabochon. So that's that Pear Cabochon that we looked at before. I put one in here. So here is the the setting for it if you want to put it in a setting and probably I would do this in a setting I'm not sure you could really bezel around that point you never know 
you know, I've been known to bezel <laughs> all different shapes, but you have the claws if you need them. Okay, next up, we have some Preciosa Sew on rhinestone. So these are little um, rose montes. That's what I call them. Rose opal in gold co colored setting. Really pretty. Love that rose opal. Look at these gorgeous pearl cabochons. These are um, 16 millimeter Preciosa Naker button pearl in blue. So this is sort of like, it's like a cabochon and it is a hole in the back. You can, it's like half drilled, I believe. Um, I will just bezel these because I think they're so gorgeous. Let's add these to the pearl section. Eight millimeter Preciosa Naker cabochon pearlescent pink. That's a little cab. Isn't that beautiful? I love their cabochons. They're so beautiful. Okay, next up we have a three millimeter round bead. kind of like a truck bead, I guess you, I would call it, in opaque purple luster. So pr very pretty. I thought it was a pearl when I first um, looked at it. So very beautiful. Okay, look at these pretties. So we have a six millimeter uh, Preciosa bicone in Topaz AB2X. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is a Preciosa bicone. This is, I believe, a four millimeter in turquoise. Look at that together. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Three millimeter fire polished. And these are powdery pastel gray and then a four millimeter in heavy metal jet dark blue. Gorgeous. Okay, next up some paisley duos and these are chalk full apricot. Beautiful, love that color, five by eight millimeter. And then we've got a diamond duo, five by eight millimeter, chalk white lila gold luster. Beautiful. Look at these gorgeous Preciosa crystals. These are um, sort of teardrop shapes and they're briolette style, so the hole goes this way. And we've got a 2 6 by 10 millimeter in crystal honey and 1 9 by 15 millimeter in crystal honey. And doesn't that sparkle just speak for itself? Like you don't need a super deep saturated color, just that gorgeous light honey color just shows off the sparkle. Just love Preciosa crystals, beautiful. Hey, look at these cool beads. Now this one, um, 20 millimeter Miyuki cotton ball in aqua, isn't that cool? That's a cotton ball. I, I have no idea what it's made of. It's light as a feather. I'm sure I know on their website they have some gorgeous things made, made with this. That's really interesting. And then a 17 by 17 millimeter Rococo heart, light blue with gold uh, and gold, um, like a gold wash on it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love that. So let's look at the findings. We've got rose gold, we've got yellow gold, and we have anti copper. So we'll look at the rose gold first. So look at this ring, this is a ring blank. It's a 25 by 33 millimeter filigree ring, rose gold colored, and it is adjustable. And if you're, you know, you can just, you know, do kinds of beading around this and maybe put a cab in the middle. Um, really, really interesting and fun to play with. I would also, if you're not into like a huge ring, what if you use this as one of those scarf rings? You can open it up a little bit more and if you have like a, you know, a thin sort of silk scarf, you can um, probably get it through there. You just want to pull the threads. But anyway, just a thought. And then we have 17 by 28 millimeter ribbon brooch, rose gold, and here, that's what this is. And this doesn't really look like rose gold to me. It looks like yellow gold, but I mean, it could just be a very light rose gold. So we'll just leave it with the rose gold because that's what it says. Very pretty. And then we have these cubic zirconia earrings and these are lever backs, 12 by 19 millimeters. So here's the little CZs and here's the lever back. This is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the front. Very, very, very pretty. And those are in rose gold. And then we have a three by 21 millimeter pearl earring hook, rose gold. And again, this one and these two look more yellow to me, but um, they, you know, there may be a cross between yellow and rose gold a little bit. So I see the three little pearls graduated in size. And these are very simple. I do love these simple earring hooks. They're just, just classic and simple and very beautiful. Okay, let's look at the um, gold finding. So we have this beautiful charm. This is 12 by 25 millimeter ribbon charm. And look at that. It's very Rococo looking, isn't it? That's really pretty. And then we have a Newman uh, Dangerous dangerous liaisons box clasp. I can't talk today. Um, and look how pretty that is. That's a beautiful box clasp. It's got a big pearl in the middle, little crystals on the side. And then we have another Newman clasp with crystal and this is gold colored. So this is a very small sort of, um, you know, dainty looking clasp. So very, very pretty. So here are your gold findings. 
Let's look at the antique copper findings. So we have a romance connector, 21 by 21 millimeter. And isn't that pretty? You get four of them here. And look how pretty that is. I love how curvy and curly Q it is. And then we have a 14 by 20 millimeter, the marquee toggle clasp and antique copper. You get two of them. So here's your toggle bar. Here's your loop. It's pretty, like very filigree looking. And then we have a 36 by 44 millimeter Cecile filigree. And this is like a filigree stamping in antique copper. And how pretty is that? And how many like, beautiful things can you beat around there? And, you know, just, just lots of opportunities to play with that. So very pretty. Okay, last but not least, we have this little gift. And isn't that pretty? So this is a really pretty little birdcage charm with a, a hummingbird. Beautiful. So here you go. Here's your Dangerous Liaisons Academy, Beating School Academy box. And I think this is so gorgeous. Look at these beautiful colors. Um, I have to say that um, I have been known to actually take crystals out of their settings when they come this way and bezel them because I am a bezeler. However, I will try <laughs> to incorporate them with the setting. Um, but uh, don't be surprised if you see, you know, you see them out of the setting as well. <laughs> All right. So here you go. Check it out. See if it's right for you. I'll leave a link in the description box below this video to their website and to their, um, their beautiful uh, Beanie School Academy boxes. Check out their tutorials. Really, really beautiful stuff. All right. Take care. I'll see you next time.